Well, welcome back to Shane's Main Shop. Today we're just going to show you a quick little video on removing decals from your vehicle if you plan on doing some painting. So I have done some work on this truck. As you know, I've been working on the rocker panels and the cab corner. And I did uh, quickly sand the hood, all that peeling paint, finish coat, the top layer. It was, just, it was just a wreck. This is not a professional job. This is just to get it back looking halfway decent. One of the things I want to do is the sides, as you can see, this is what I'm talking about, what the hood looked like. All of the clear coat was peeling. And in some cases, the paint had peeled all the way down to the metal. So we're just cleaning this up quickly and just doing some rust-oleum and shooting it on with a spray gun. But today, we're going to go ahead and remove this uh, emblem here, the Ram 3500 Cummings 24 valve turbo diesel sign. Try to put the camera in a position that you can see. But basically, you're just going to start on one side and just work your blade under here gently and just keep slowly going around and cutting into it underneath a little at a time because I don't want to break it I want to preserve it I'm not sure if I'll put it back or not but I don't want to just paint over it so we're going to go ahead and get this off and see how it works out I'm already started on the side here and I'm just getting the knife underneath here and eventually this knife won't work because it won't get underneath but as far as you need to get but if you just slowly work the blade in there carefully you'll have some res residue to get off after the fact so won't work your way all the way around to the bottom. The bottom's a little bit tougher in this case because I got this in my way and I don't want to dig in if I can help it. So I might just push it up like this just to start to break that adhesive loose. And if you can gently pull, you don't want to pull hard or fast because you'll just snap it. But if you pull it slowly, you can feel it start to release and you can even hear it can hear it releasing and then that might even get you some more room to get the blade down in there a little bit further and gently I see I'm barely pulling now just enough to give myself some space and cut some more of that adhesive away uh, there's a weak point here actually it might even be two different pieces not sure so we're just gonna yeah I think it is two different pieces actually it is so we'll go ahead and remove the top here that I did not know yeah, because I can pull up on it. and uh, There we go. So, all preserved. Just needs to be completely cleaned up, of course, to go back on if we're going to do that. Set that aside and then go ahead and get the diesel. 24 valve Cummings diesel sign off. Be careful not to slip and cut your hand if you get your hand underneath here. Probably shouldn't do that. Well, I'm just going to work. We were able to get to the bottom before. Now we're able to get to the top of this. Just work your way around. Don't rush it because you'll end up breaking something. Take your time. Go back over it. Make sure there's no spots you missed here where these little bumps are. And then I'll try the same thing. I'll just gently pull. Now this one's being a little bit more stubborn. Oh, there we go. Can you able to get the knife under here? Yes, there we go. Alright, so now we have both those off and out of the way. I'll put those aside, we'll clean them all up. So if I want to put them back, but then you gotta deal with this adhesive. So you should be able to use your blade to get a lot of this off, hopefully. And try not to cut into your paint. You don't want to go to steep angle because you don't want to gouge in. I'm trying to basically just go over the surface here. I'll have to use some uh, acetone or something after to get the rest of it. But be right there, I cut into my clear coat a little bit. Because if you're going to put it back on, if you do that, it's not going to be as important once you paint it. But ideally, you don't want to get into your finish at all if you can help it. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep working on this, as you can see, and then we'll turn the camera back on in a bit once we uh, have it cleaned up. So I did get as much as I possibly could scraped off, and now I'm going to employ the usefulness of an orbital sander just to get the rest of it off. And I got a pretty coarse one on here. I think it's probably like 80 grit or something. Yeah, 80 grit. I don't want to go too much because I don't want to get it into all of this, but I do want to get this, this off. So this, this is not off. It's going to show up really bad. We're going to go ahead and just do some sanding on this. So, as 
is actually going right down to the middle in many spots here and there's still residue behind so I guess I'm just going to have to really get that cleaned up and just sacrifice a little bit of the paint in this area to get that off. I mean I can use some acetone or whatever but I gotta sand it down anyway so I'm just going to go ahead and finish it with this and I'm going to do the whole side of the truck with a much finer grit before we spray it anyway. But that's for another whole video. Alright, well obviously there's always more than one way to skin a cat but this is uh, one way you can get an emblem off the truck and preserve the emblem so if you take it off carefully and then clean it all up and get it ready for a new coat of paint. So we'll throw some primer on here just to protect this metal because I'm not painting today. I just want to get this emblem off and get it ready because the mirror has got to come off and a few other things as well. Uh, but anyway, if you need to take an emblem off a vehicle, this is one way you can do it fairly safely. Now, if you're not looking to paint, then you've got to take different measures. If you're looking just to get the emblem off, clean up and put it back, then you're going to want to use more of a chemical to get that sticky stuff, uh, sticky residue off so you're not damaging your paint like I've done here. But I knew I was going to paint it so it doesn't matter. So hopefully this helps you. If you're going to take an emblem off, one way you can do it. Uh, but again, there's always more than one way to skin a cat.